get to see that crocodile properly. There it is, another bank. Busy sunning itself. Great. I must admit, not a bad sized crocodile. This morning I was guessing at about six, maybe seven feet. I'd say it's probably at least that. Maybe closer to seven feet. Big enough to injure if it, if you for some reason went and messed with it. But like most other animals, if you give it its space, it's more than happy to leave us alone. I must say, this is a very you well. You go, Jan. Okay, thanks. That question coming from Leanne. Uh, if I got the gist of it right, Leanne, you're asking where this crocodile is likely to have come from and how long it's likely to stay around. Uh, in terms of how long it's going to stay around, I have absolutely no idea. It could stay tonight and leave tomorrow. Or it could also stay for another few years. Um, that depends mainly on how much water is available. The Fusuk Dam normally retains water straight throughout the year quite easily. But again, this year it hasn't had as much water as, as usual. So We'll see towards the end of winter if this water is still enough to accommodate the croc. In terms of where it's coming from, uh, we haven't actually noticed tracks. I mean, I haven't seen any tracks on, on our side at all for a crocodile this size. So probably from the north, I would guess one of the bigger dams up there, maybe Big Dam, as it's called, <laughs> or uh, Kaya Manji. There's a few dams up towards the north in Bufusuk. Also, a lot of them getting very low now. So maybe this crocodile decided I'm going to head downhill somewhere and see what else I can find. And this is what it came up with next. Of course, if this water all gets shallow or there's not much food around, which shouldn't be a problem. There's a lot of catfish here. Hasn't been a crocodile living here for, for quite a few years. So um, it might decide to stick around for a while. But if it doesn't, it's going to head downstream. It's going to follow this river further down and it'll end up further south of here again. But I've got a feeling, just the way it's lying there, it's looking quite happy. Look, it looks like it's smiling even. Hopefully it's going to stick around here and become a permanent companion to the hippo. Every day we arrive here, it'll be fine the croc. Speaking of the hippo, this is lying, he was making a bit of splashing just now. I think the hippo is maybe feeling a bit left out now. Always been the center of attention and now suddenly it's a reptile. Okay. Now this crocodile is a special reptile. Alex loves reptiles. This is actually Jan's first crocodile out here, or first crocodile ever. Alex's first crocodile here. And I think since we're talking of the crocodile, let's have another look at him before we move on. I'm sure quite a few of you are probably wondering how this crocodile and this hippo will get along. I explained it a bit this morning, and I'm sure we've got lots of new people on drive this afternoon. Basically, there's not much competition. First of all, they don't compete at all for, um, for food. Hippos, of course, herbivores, they eat grass. Crocodiles, carnivores, they eat, when they're very young, they eat insects. And then as they get older, they start eating a little bit bigger things. They'll start eating things like birds, doves, franklins, fish a lot of fish actually and then only as they really start getting very large do they start taking larger mammals and so on so there's no competition for food first of all so the only thing really is the water and again in the water there's not much of a problem and it's very solid that crocodiles are really big enough to be a threat to hippo or to young hippo it's only in the big rivers that you find that so in this specific case this hippo and crocodile probably won't mind each other at all to the point where they will hardly pay each other attention It's quite often easy to misjudge the size or the length 
of reptiles in general I think but especially snakes and crocodiles, lizards you tend to look at them and they always look smaller than they actually are if you look at this crocodile carefully, look at how he's got that very heavy muscle tail curved around you see even with the curve it comes back halfway up the body again like I said earlier I would estimate this one probably about 7 foot maybe even slightly more if you really got down then you grab it by the mouth and the tail and straighten him out and measured it you probably find 7 maybe even 8 feet 2 meters 15, 2 meters 20 somewhere around that big ones of course can get huge the ideal environments where they eat a lot reptiles obviously grow as fast as they can eat so it's not something related just to age but if you're in a perfect environment lots of food nice, nice big river systems crocodiles get up to about five six meters now that is huge that is uh, it's 20 feet about 21 feet or something and they can get up to about a ton in weight that's more than a big buffalo and they can be a meter tall at the shoulder when they're walking it's uh, about at your hip a little bit more than your hip so they can get to monstrous sizes but not this one this one is just big enough to to respect but not 